It's been a promotional bonanza. Barbie and Oppenheimer are the two biggest movies of the moment. Now their megastar actors are joining their Hollywood peers and striking. We got to hold strong till we get a deal that's fair for for, for working actors. For, you know, it's the difference between having health care and not for a lot of for a lot of actors. We'll be leaving together as a cast in unity with everyone. Screenwriters down tools in May. The last time both guilds were on strike at the same time was in the 1960s. We are being victimized by a very greedy entity. I am shocked by the way the people that we have been in business with are treating us. Actors won't film or promote their projects. The union is demanding more money and protection from artificial intelligence, concern the technology could replace their members' voices and replicate their images. The Producers' Alliance, which represents studios, says it offered an historic deal and can't afford more. I respect their right and their desire to get as much as they possibly can in compensation for their people. But you also have to be realistic about it with the business environment and what this business can deliver. For someone like Bob Iger, who's on $25 million a year, to come out and say the actor's demands are unreasonable, I think he really does need to understand just what it's like to live as a professional creative. Right now, it's curtains on new productions. And while some finished projects will provide fresh content for viewers, it won't be long until it's just reruns. Carrington Clark, ABC News.